Boys, girls, men, women, children of all ages. It's me, Andy, cutting clean lawn care. And something you guys have commented on in a lot of the videos about the Darwin's grip has finally happened to me. So Randy's supposed to be coming over soon and I'm gonna find some solutions to some of these problems that a lot of you guys have been having. I haven't had these problems until just recently. I'll show you what happened. This right here is an equipment defender trimmer rack. This is the other side of the equipment defender trimmer rack. This top position right here is where I put my edger. And as you can see in all of its glory with the old Darwin's grip on there, she does sit a little tall on there. Not too bad, about the same height as the uh, top of the gate there, maybe just a hair higher. But what had happened was, besides me having a checkings and a savings, you know, and the money gets a little mixed up. But when driving, obviously the truck's traveling this way, which means this is traveling this way as well. And what happens is, as you can see, the inside of this here, as I go through some of these neighborhoods that like to plant all these little trees around their boulevards, when I pull up next to a property, I'll end up hitting some of these trees sometimes. And a couple times, a limb has grabbed this and just torqued it, as you can hear. It moves rather freely. You can see how high it is up now. So I don't know if it loosened it in this, but it also moves around on the shaft easily now, which it never has before. So that's just two things I got to fix real quick from tree limbs, grabbing a hold of this thing and just yanking it wherever it wants to, which I guess I could have mixed emotions on. And a lot of people have said some stuff when they got their Darwin's grips. A lot of people ask them, why isn't it just metal on metal? Why doesn't that, you know, just fit right to the trimmer shed? Right now you use like a little rubber buffer in between there, which gets rid of some of the vibration and things like that. But if that was metal on metal, and that tree branch grabbed a hold of it, I'd have a snapped trimmer shaft right now. There would be no give to it. So I'm glad that little rubber buffer was in there because that's a brand new edger for me. But now that it is kind of moving around, there's two things I'm gonna try and I'm gonna see if it's gonna work. A is gonna be Loctite on the bolts, a little bit of blue Loctite. And since it does move around on the shaft, I'm gonna put a little bit of sports tape that has like a little bit of grip to it like you would on maybe baseball bats or hockey sticks, if you would. I'm gonna put a little layer of that on the shaft, rubber over top of that, and then tape over that rubber piece just to give the clamp as much grip as possible on this. Uh, just something I'm trying out, man. It's all about feedback. So I'm definitely trying to give Robbie over there at Darwin's Grip the most feedback I can on his product because he's always sending me stuff about different ideas and things he's planning on trying to do with it, which is great, dude. Always evolve your product. But also you guys, if you guys have bought the Darwin's Grips, leave comments down in the section below on maybe some of the stuff you think can help improve this product because i'm trying to do it because i think it's great like it is but it can always be better how to make it better you know so i'm going to try some of these things and just see how it holds up as soon as randy gets in here we're going to get into this video yeah it's crazy i never really noticed it until i was shooting it how much stuff i've hit with this from running through all these little trees. And I'm definitely glad I'm using Equipment Defender Racks. As always, use code CUT AND CLEAN, save yourself 10%, because if these were green touch, I got a feeling the tree just would have ripped them completely off my trailer. And the only reason I'm saying this is because I know there's a green touch guy watching this right now, and I want you to leave a comment, because you're going to, about how much better green touch is. And that's fine. But let me tell you something, I really don't care. Something else I can share about the old Darwin's grip because I get a lot of the comments from it since I do have some sort of a connection with Robbie and I am able to talk to him. He did tell me he updated the email to the website because I guess the email that's been up there, people have been complaining. I've even complained about why he isn't responding to these emails, but I guess he didn't have access to that email. Didn't even think about it. So he put up a brand new email that is linked directly to his phone for him to keep up with you guys uh, your pros, your cons, maybe some of the issues you're having, go to the website. There is going to be a link in the description, and I believe it's an admin email address. Use that one. Don't use whatever the other one is, because obviously we all know we do not get responded back to that old one, so check out that new one. 
So I'm gonna bring you guys into a journey in my life. While I'm waiting here for Randy, I notice other things and I have to start doing them. I, I do it with everything. My wife tells me to go downstairs and change the laundry. I go downstairs, see the laundry machine, then see something else. Oh, these blades need to be sharpened. So I start doing all these other things instead of the task at hand. I have a task at hand over here. But now I have come over here. I've gotten the Milwaukee chainsaw out. I've chopped this one branch down that's always been annoying me. I have the pole saw out because this one's hanging over the lines a little bit and I don't like it, so I'm gonna cut it down. But I was gonna pull it this way a little bit with the truck, so I took apart this strap to get the strap out of here so I could pull it this way with the truck to get up on there with a the ladder and use the chainsaw and cut it down. These are the kind of things that my brain does when I'm waiting on something. ADHD is a real thing. Oh, look, my truck. So either this is gonna be one of the dumbest things I've ever done or a great YouTube video. So I got a strap thrown up and over, latched to it, hooked to another strap that I'm gonna hook to my truck just to pull this away from those lines a little bit so I can get it cut down. Either that or I'm just gonna yank it with the truck and just yank this SOB this way until it just breaks. <sighs> Quick loader straps, huh? Let's find out. This is usually when stuff goes from bad to worse. It's when me and Randy get together. I told him that back end was gonna kick out towards him. Luckily, it looked like it just hit my ladder, which is $350, so. All right, guys, back from all that chainsaw action. Randy's over here smashing my refrigerator full of soda. <sighs> And I'm going to go through how I'm going to try to set up a new Darwin's grip on one of these. Uh, like I said in the comments, I was getting a lot of comments of people saying theirs were moving around. I really never paid attention to it until kind of now just messing with it. And as you can see, yeah, it does move around. It takes some force, but it moves around. So I'm going to try to come up with something, just me winging it right here on the spot. Some ideas of how to make this a little more secure. And like I said, if you guys have more ideas and you have a Darwin's grip and you came up with other ideas to get this on there nice and tight, leave them in the comments below. Let me know. That way we can let him know. Maybe he can come up with better design options for this. But this is what I got going on. Went to the store and I picked up some sporting tape, like I said earlier, like for hockey stick handles or bat handles. It has a little bit of a grippiness to it. That way the clamp on the aluminum that's also with the rubber, which I feel can give it a lot more bite. It'll clamp down and have a solid bite. It ain't gonna be nice, smooth rubber. It's gonna have something to bite onto. So that's what I'm going with for that. I'm gonna do a tape on the inside of the shaft, then I'm gonna do a tape on the outside of the rubber. You'll see what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna do Loctite on the bolts. A lot of people said their bolts have been coming out. I haven't had a problem with the bolts coming out at all, but I'm gonna do it just to do it anyways. Why not? Nothing wrong with a little Loctite. So I'm gonna start off by taking this old little DG off here. This is actually the original prototype He sent me of kind of what he had going on and then he sent me one of the brand new ones Which I guess he's calling his 2.0. It's got the grippier handle and a different design for this So I'm just gonna mock this up from start to finish and kind of some things that I think might help improve it as far as Stationarily being on there. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take this off real quick. Hold it up in my noggin here. So like I said, what I'm gonna start off with is some sporting tape between the shaft and the rubber to give the rubber help as something to bite onto. Cause the more of, not even just the bite itself, but the width you can give to it is obviously gonna help this thing clamp better because as is, with just the rubber, what I noticed is you get that aluminum really close to connecting. So it becomes really tight as is. And that's sticky too, dude, that feels good. Give it a feel on camera. Give it, give it a feel. Huh? Stand tall, bro. Right there, if you guys are interested in picking up a Darwin's Grip, like always, feel free to go over there. Check the links in the description. Use code cut and clean, save yourself 10%. Throw these little rubber pieces on there. Half of me wishes I could come up with an idea of this on my own, which I haven't. I'm trying to think of something else I could use as a buffer in between here besides just this. 
It's got to be something. And I'm also going to wrap this in some tape, too. It's funny when he came by there and I said, did he just puff up? Did he up puff his he... chest out, dude? <laughs> has, he, has he puffed the magic dragon? What is he doing? So now what we got going on is I got tape on the shaft, rubber onto that tape. That tape has a little bit of tackiness to it and a definite grip and then taped over top of that. So this rubber piece can no longer move. And as you saw from the old one, I was able to move it and rotate it around because it was just sliding on the shaft. But now I don't feel there's a way possible for that to move. Something else I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of that tape in between here so this isn't aluminum on aluminum. That way it'll give it a little bit of grip strength. Because like what I said before, when I had this on here and a tree grabbed it, it was this part that was able to spin it and knock it up and get it all out of whack. So I'm feeling that'll give it a little more to hold on to, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Like I said, if it doesn't have give there, I mean, I'm not looking to run into trees all the time, but I just feel that tree branch could just snap that shaft. So we'll see. A bit of blue Loctite on there. Oh gosh. And I'm not going to cinch these all the way down because I don't know exactly where I need that part yet. Yeah, I would have had to torque the crap out of it to do it. Don't want that happening. Don't want to make it happen. Not out here being rough on her. Your honor. It ain't going anywhere anymore. Even though a lot of the tape kind of pushed that way when I was trying to get it on there, it's so tacky in there, dude. It ain't going nowhere. Just don't know how hard I want to crank these down because it is aluminum and aluminum threading, you know. But obviously, it's got such a bite on all that tape and rubber in there. I got a feeling you can crank it down probably pretty good without having to really worry about it too much. Man. It's solid, dude. It ain't going anywhere. I can see my. Like, look at the, the tip of it, where the edger blade is. I can see that flexing more than I can this. Like, this thing ain't moving at all. <laughs> Let's make a pass with it real quick. And the only other thing I would recommend when using this product, I personally can't stand it when it's straight with the shaft. Because then, I, again, I have my arms crossed over my body and it's uncomfortable. I like to torque mine out towards the side of my body so my hands are more wide open and not crossing my body. But, yeah. That's just kind of what I came up with, guys. A little bit of Loctite, some tape, taping all this up. This thing's not moving. This handle is not going anywhere, no matter what I do to it with this. Uh, it doesn't look the best. It's probably not the most professional thing you can come up with. So like I said, guys, if you can, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think if you have better options. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. We'll see you in the next one.